Hey, what's up, guys? Thomas Roger here today, and today's video is going to be about that why I think it's the ending of the equals era, you know, with everything that happened yesterday with Ed turning everything white, um, everywhere on his social medias, and yeah, let's get, get straight on with the video. Yeah, so yesterday Ed changed everything from equals to white, and that's why it could be the ending of the equals era, you know, that in yesterday's Road of Tracks video that. That I talked everything about it yesterday, and yeah, you know, I love you. As you guys know me, I love Equals so much, and like, Equals has got me as through some dark times. I think yeah, you know, um, poor, and I've properly started my about Ed Sheeran on this YouTube channel, YouTube channel through the Equals era as well because yeah, as you guys don't know, um, put it on the screen now. You know, Ed commented on my fan page last year. Saying, oh, and hi, Thomas, love your videos. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, crazy, yeah. And um, that was the 13th of June, 2021, for the promo of Bad Habits, yeah. Um, which I can't believe it, you know, it was that long ago now. Um, almost a year and a half ago. <laughs> almost a year and a half ago that happened, guys, so, yeah. Um, and then on the 25th of June, 2021, um, that Bad Habits came out and... Yeah, you know, that was a crazy day, the 25th of June, 2020, I was on a Zoom call with a, fan, a few fans as well. And then later on in the afternoon, evening time, you know, I'll play a clip for you now. Yeah, guys, you know, if you, like, I think some of you guys have already seen it already where... And so Thomas, I love that, me and the Ipswich scarf. Um, it, I got it from the Ipswich store, you know, um, this season, this season scarves. I believe they're on there as well. Um, I'll link it in the description if you guys want an Ipswich scarf with the Mathematics store logo on it. Um, yeah, you know, um, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, wow, well, freaks out <laughs> um, when I said my name on the Zoom call. Um, and then, of course, you know, Shivers came out in September. Total dates of the first leg of the mathematics for September 2021. Um, and then Equals came out in October, on the 29th of October 2021, with the Overpass Graffiti music video. Um, yeah, which is crazy. And then Equals came out for an hour. I just heard it again, you know, to, to earlier on today, you know, which I love Equals so much, you guys, you know, the butterfly concepts of every song of the original 14 songs of Equals, which it's amazing, I love it so much, and yeah, and he's an he's he's emotional that it is the ending of the equals era overall, but overall in the mathematics era is still going on, but of course overall the equals era is ending, and now we're moving on to the subtracts era now. It seems like in twenty in twenty twenty in in the new year in twenty twenty three, which I can't, I can't wait for subtracts, but equals will always have a place in my heart as. I'm gonna say this a very unpopular opinion. Equals, I believe Equals is my favorite Ed Sheeran album because what well, is bit bit of tie and tie with Multiply, but Equals is it's so magical. Like all the sounds and lyrics of the entire album, you know, including the tour edition as well, and and even Celestial. I do believe Celestial was made through through Equals Ed, Ed recording with Equals Celestial, the one-off Pokemon song. Because the sounding and the lyrics of Celestial was made for Equals, and I think, and yeah, yeah, which the one-off Pokemon song, which released oh, in September 2022, which was amazing, yeah. And then we got Merry Christmas in December, which I love so much with Elton John. Merry Christmas is amazing, yes. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone, and the parody of Sausage Rolls for Everyone with Lad Baby. Ed and Elton as well, which I love so much. Yeah, Chris, a, a, a Christmas song with Ed Sheeran and Elton John. Who would have thought? Um, not me, but I love it so much. And this is why this is the best era because all the collaborations as well, all the the massive tour and the album as well. Um, and in February we got the Joker and the Queen, with Taylor Swift. That was amazing. The music video is amazing, and it's I do think the Joker and the Queen. I'd say tied with Overpass Graffiti are the most underrated singles from Equals. 
Who am I saying? Two step, or we had so many clubs for two steps, so yeah. Um, but I think Joker and the Queen is kind of more underrated than Overpass Graffiti, but Overpass Graffiti still is underrated with the music video. Um, but yeah, so underrated is each other. I think Equals as an album as a whole is underrated because of the transitions in between some of the songs or the hidden details in some of the songs, yeah, which I love so much. Um, Two Step came out in April um, featuring Little Baby, an American rapper. Wow, that was crazy to think about. And then in May, I had a lot of Two Step collabs. Um, I don't think I can name them all, name them all at the top of my head. But I love all the two step clubs so much, you know. Um, yeah, you know, little baby anti 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 I think that's how you say it. Um, Eleonora, Wonkers, the Giora. So many more. <laughs> um, so many more two step clubs there. I'm Man Malik was the last one. Denise Taylor, Juvedo, Leto. Re um Reezy, yeah. Um Chef Chefin. I'm just naming all the two step clubs at <laughs> the top of my head. Pot of paper. It was only one EDM remix, a star one remix, and yeah, which I love so much. Um Ultimo as well, the Italian two step club as well. I forget one, I don't know. Um Oh yeah, that a lot of two step clubs there. Um in May and a bit in June as well. And also at the end of May, we got the tour edition of Equals. Yep, which was amazing, guys. With One Life, Penguins finally released on the tour edition of Equals and two extra songs, I Will Remember You and Welcome to the World, which I love so much. Yeah, the little details in Welcome to the World, which is amazing, yeah. <laughs> which is amazing. Um, and I Will Remember You is such a good song. Like, I will remember she was the starlight in darkness, she was. And also with Penguins, you know, I thought, you know, with the live version of Penguins back in 2019, you know, I thought, oh, it's not going to be better than One Life, but it is it's as good as One Life. The, the, studio, the studio version of One Life, which is so amazing of, of Penguins. Yeah, shoot a, shoot a version of Penguins. It's just like raw acoustic sound. I met her smoking a cigarette in her toilet cubicle, which is so good in my opinion, yeah. And also the amount of collabs we've had this era as well, you know, like we've had, let me go back, um, Bad Habits, um, the Grime remix with Tion Wayne, Tion Wayne and Central C as well. Um, trying to think. Shivers with Jesse and Sun Me. I think it was like a Shivers, a bit of a Russian remix of Shivers. Um, yeah, Bad Habits with Bring Me the Horizon, that was sick. I love that so much. Like a screamo version of Bad Habits with Bring Me the Horizon, sick. Um, Peru with Fireboy DML. Bam Bam with Camille Cabello. Of course, so the Joker and Queen with Taylor Swift. I'm trying to name all of it, I'll just ass. Forget one, I'm sorry. Um, J Balvin, C Game Forever My Love. We are still waiting for the project whenever that is coming. I do think next year now, I, I do think maybe J Balvin will like promote it or something. I'm not too sure, guys. I'm not too sure. Um, Brace it with Ashona for my hand with with Burner Boy. Um, are you entertained with Russ? Uh, my G with H. At groundwork with Big Nasty and Papoos. Uh, Lonely Lovers with D Block Europe. And Call On Me with Vienny. I think that is it with the collabs. Um, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is a lot of collabs this year already. And we don't really get that many collabs in between albums. We get some, but not that many. Which has been amazing, you know. Yeah. Also last year, how could I forget about Taylor Swift run and everything has changed. And the re-recorded era of Everything Has Changed and the run from the Vault song, which is amazing, back in November 2021. And also Noche de Novela with, with Paolo Londra as well, which released in August as well. Um, which I love all the clubs so much, guys. Yeah. Um, also, also, guys, um, the signed CDs 
um, I'm so grateful for all the signed CDs, you know, like what Ed signed ever since Bad Habits. I thought it was just be the Bad Habits CDs, but no, it was all the equal singles, which, <laughs> and then my Merry Christmas Peru, Sausage Rolls for everyone as well included, and equals art cards as well. Ed's just signed so many signed stuff this era, which is being crazy to think about. And I wonder what, and I wonder if we're gonna get signed CDs for Subtract as well. I'm not entirely too sure, guys, but that would be amazing. Yeah, um, and that would be amazing. And then in September, Celestial, the one-off Pokemon song, um, which is amazing, and it fits perfectly. It's the last song of Equals, in my opinion. Like the last song after the, after the Tour Edition songs, which was amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. This for the equals era, crazy to, th to think about that. Just over a year, or about around a year, around with the equals era, pretty much starting from the twenty fifth of June two thousand twenty one, up until yesterday. I don't know the fourth of November twenty twenty two. But when Ed does all the subtract program, when that will be. Don't I think the mathematics symbol will be on will be everywhere, I'm not entirely too sure guys, but yeah, you know, representing all of Ed's five mathematical albums and yeah, equals will have a place in my heart, you know, because it does mean a lot to me, equals the album, you know, this era has been so crazy to think about. And also on the tour edition as well, guys, you know, Afterglow, that was released on the twenty first of December twenty twenty. And then Ed thought, why not put it on the tour edition of Equals, you know, which it does fit perfectly because it like adds a bit more acoustic to the album, you know, like with, like with First Times and Penguins, you know, it does fit perfectly with the with the acoustic songs on the album. Um, that some some of Equals is um, with multi genre. Multi genre. I'll, I'll say that multi genre on Equals, which I love so much, and yeah. And I'm at Eagles is such a masterpiece of an album, in my opinion. And yeah. Also, a little theory on the last collab song, um, Call On Me With Vienna. You know, it is acoustic. It is like a lo-fi acoustic and Ed singing in French. And, you know, like, Call on me, brother. You know, that could... I think Call On Me could be potentially about Jamal and the entirety of Subtracts. Most of Subtracts is about Jamal and I do think Jam um, the entire album Subtract with Subtracts would be dedicated to Jamal like um, like with Equals was dedicated to Michael Gernsky, you know. Also guys, what do you think is your favourite song of Equals? I possibly can't choose a favourite song of Equals. Um, I want to say the entire album, but all 20 songs, Tired, Shivers, First Times, Bad Habits, Overpass, Graffiti, The Joker and The Queen, Leave Your Life, Kalai, Two Steps, Stop the Rain, Love in Slow Motion, Visiting Hours, Sandman Be Right Now, Afterglow, One Life, Penguins, I Remember You, Welcome to the World and Celestial. I'm, I'm included in the tour edition and Celestial, and Celestial as well. Yes, um, because why not? <laughs> and yeah guys, and... Also, I was, I was expecting a the French um, limited edition um, CD and DVD today, but it didn't come. Oh, actually, yesterday, but it actually didn't come, which is a bit of a pain. Bloody DVD, but oh, oh well, it'll be another video for another time. The unboxing of the French edition equals CD and DVD. And yeah, guys, and if you guys enjoyed this video of me literally, literally recapping the entirety of the equals era, um, Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.